Hello and welcome back to another video guys. In this video I'm working on this Ford uh, Focus 2 litre diesel manual. Now I'm going to start the engine. The car's lost power. Uh, it's in lip mode. You can hear a hushing sound. Now put it on the diagnostic machine. I'm doing this just to kind of make you all aware what fault codes will come up and what the signs are. So as we said, loses power as if the turbo isn't working as if it's leaking air somewhere as if injectors aren't working properly but injectors are you can hear the engine rumbling as it should it's not like a tractor even though diesel are however look so if we turn the engine on we've got the engine management light on as you can see um diagnostic says dpf okay but the dpf has been triggered by something else um from what i can see and what, what i've gathered you can see mass airflow has been triggered. Obviously, it'll be related to the particulate filter. Um, irrelevant of this. Look, this is why we always say, don't start changing parts. Make sure you do a smoke test, etc., etc. This one, luckily, we don't need to do a smoke test. But in your case, I would recommend to do a smoke test if you are not getting what I am seeing or hearing, okay? So, let me lift this up. So, I will leave the camera here, okay? And I'll put my foot down so you can hear what's, what I can hear in other words. You can clearly hear and see all this smoke. You can see so much smoke is coming out. Now, <coughs> sorry. So, we can hear a hushing noise, which is a good sign. I'd like to hear this sort of noise because it eliminates the problem straight away. Now on yours, um, so for example, look, here we go again. So I don't even need to do a smoke test. You can see it for yourselves guys, clearly. Now, I'm glad we're getting this, no uh, this sort of noise and smoke because it eliminates the fault. In your case, it may even come up with under boost, which is fine, it, it's understandable. It will trigger. So there is a burst pipe here for the intercooler. That's caused it. In your case, it may not be that. It may be the intercooler, uh, which has been triggered. Um, so this is why we say smoke test, see where the leak is, and then take it from there. However, in this one, we're gonna dig in, investigate. And the reality is the DPF has been triggered because of this as well, funny. It's just the way cars work. If yours is a Ford Focus, um, like like this one is, there's the bolt there, and there's the bolt there. Undo them both, and then you just squeeze this, pull back, and the light comes off. This is where I need to work. And reality is, that is where the base pipe is, you guys. It is a bit of a bollock to get to. I've taken this grill out to make life easier and the headlight. I can take the bumper off, but it's a bit of a, I don't want to mess the line up. It's not good. Um, there it is, size seven. In my case, in your case, it's different. See, guys, I've got the split there, which is normal. I mean, things happen in cars, but yeah, we'll get that changed, put it on, and reset the sensors. So, guys, everything sorted. The pipes back on, uh, smooth as all, uh, the right word is. Um, I can feel it's peaceful. Obviously, we've still got the diesel uh, rumble. You can see it's still there. Okay, it will be registered because it's within the ECU. There you are, it comes up. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a full scan. I'm not gonna let it do a full scan. I've already gone into the engine section. We are gonna quick erase it, see if this helps. Uh, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does, but we shall see. If it doesn't, we're gonna get into the DPF and reset the sensors that way as well. So we have three faults that are permanent. We'll see what they are first. Okay. So here I'm using the iCar Soft CR Max BT. It's just come out recently. It's a good piece of kit, I'll be honest. There's a lot of things we can do with it. Uh, you can grab one. I have done a few videos on it as well. So Let's read the fault code. I was exactly expecting this. So we're getting X, Y, and Z. All to do with the DPF. Now, as I said, I've used this machine. It's a brilliant piece of kit. So we have eliminated the other fault code. You know, the math, the boost leak. Okay, fair enough. These are, are, are stored permanent. Now, it doesn't matter if it's... Ford, Land Rover, BMW, it will be stored. I don't care how many full scan and clear you do, it's not gonna work, okay? So what I will say is come back out, come back out. Um, obviously none of these, 
uh, come back out of this, yes, uh, service. Once we're in service, once it's paired up, this. I mean, sometimes it could be under this, but I very much doubt it. I'll try it. It will usually be under the engine control. So diesel particular filter. Oh, here we go. Oh, brilliant. In some cars it doesn't, but good news that we have. So diesel particular filter, static regen, no. Diesel particular filter, DPF pressure sensor reset, uh, learn DPF. So what we can do is do this one and that one as well. This is to say the sensors have been reset. Uh, when we say reset, the sensors have been changed or you've cleaned the DPF. In this case, we clearly saw what was going on, so we fixed it. So there isn't any issues in that sense. So ignition off, on, um, turn the ignition back on. Uh, yes, to say it's had a new DPF. Yes, continue. So this is the way you would do it, guys. Um, ignition off. Okay, so. If we come back out of this and then if we go back into an auto scan so we'll let it do the auto scan okay i'm gonna i'm gonna pause it right there because i don't need to go through everything and we'll quick erase it all and hopefully see what happens so as you can see it has cleared it there's nothing stored and on here we have one fault that's the washer fluid which i'm not interested in um but you can clearly see the engine mal malfunction has gone i very much doubt it'll come back on this if it does we'll just do another reset sometimes it doesn't do it on the first go but there you are guys it's as simple as that so if i turn the ignition off turn the ignition on there's nothing there engine oil of change June, which is fine i'm not bothered obviously we clearly know and oh here we are no fault codes that is the way to do it guys it's very very simple it's easy to use there are many different diagnostic machines out there you can also use but i've been using the icar soft which is like for like same as the um hotel but i would recommend this than the hotel just because of the pricing the pricing is ridiculous if you were to get an hotel similar to this uh you'd be paying oh easily 800 900 quid whereas this is only a uh, I think 400 quid uh, There are offers on Probably cheaper elsewhere as well But reality is Don't forget It's free update for life Free update for life Okay um, But yeah That's the sort of Fault code we got guys That's what we did We went through it No issues